Right. So we were just talking about the strategies for Djokovic. So I would say he has to handle the crowd support for Kyrgios. Now we have seen that Djokovic gets frustrated a lot of time if the crowd is against him. We just saw that against Nori on the last point itself where the crowd was trying to cheer for Nori and although it was incorrect because Djokovic was just about to serve but it really bothered Djokovic although he reacted uh, in, in a good way but still I think uh, this is a factor that might affect Djokovic if there is a huge crowd support for Kyrgios. All right, so now the prediction. Well, I would say that if Kyrgios is playing really well, if he's fit, first of all, and if he's able to focus on the match, I think Kyrgios has a very, very good chance of beating Djokovic. And I would say it's one in once in a lifetime chance because we all know Kyrgios is not that consistent. So it's very difficult for him to consistently reach uh, the latter stages of the tournament. He himself said in the press conference that if he is able to win this or if he, whenever he is able to win one of the tournament, then probably he won't have the courage to you know go all out again in any other tournament. So it clearly shows that uh, even though he likes to win, but he believes that it's not easy for him to play seven matches consistently at a stretch, which is why I think this is a huge opportunity for him. They both have a history. I think that is going to play in favor of Kyrgios because he would be extra motivated. He would be extra energetic, I would say. He could go for more shots, hit with more power. And even if he's feeling something, some injury, some sort of thing, I think this match probably would motivate him to still continue playing, even if he's feeling something. On the other hand, I would say for Djokovic, this will be a real test. He has passed such sort of tests a lot of times in his career against Tsitsipas, most recently in the French Open, against Thiem at the Australian Open. He has dealt with the adversity in a very good way. But this will be a real test for him because he's not, I don't think he's playing in a, in a very good form. I think he's out of sorts in some way. Although his motivation is very much there, his comeback abilities is still there. But talking about his game, I still feel that it looks a bit vulnerable if he doesn't start off well. And as I mentioned, there are a lot of ifs here. If Kyrgios is able to play to his potential, I think he has better chances to win this match against Djokovic. That is why I would pick Kyrgios. Now, there is one more factor here, which is the focus, the pressure factor. Because Djokovic has been in this situation a lot of times, but for Kyrgios, it's very new. Now, if you talk about the general mindset, the general characteristics that determines or that represents Kyrgios, I think Kyrgios doesn't feel pressure a lot. He plays well under pressure. He's not afraid to take his chances. He could go big on the break points. Sometimes that would pay off. And I think that is the correct way to go against players like Nadal or Djokovic. Because if you try to stay in the rally, they would most of the times save their break points and they would beat you. Right? So Kyrgios has to take matter into his own hands. He has to be really aggressive. And we have seen him hit seconds of aces on being match point down and a lot of big points time and time again. So I really feel that, uh, you know, the fear or maybe the pressure would be less for Kyrgios because he has nothing to lose, first of all. And he can, you know, go there, try his best. If he's able to start off well, it will be really difficult for Djokovic to stop him. So that is why I'm saying, but still, there is a if because this is the first time Kyrgios is playing in a final. So maybe things might be different. Maybe he starts feeling a lot of pressure. He starts feeling the occasion and he misses a few shots here and then. And then, you know, it becomes one-sided. That could also happen. But looking at his general uh, behavior that we have seen in overall in his career, I still feel that he is less likely to face pressure or perform, uh, you know, bad under pressure more than any other player because I think he plays very well under pressure. He's courageous and he would take his chances. For Djokovic, I think, as I mentioned, it's really important that he starts off well and focuses on his end of the serve. He, he should try focusing on holding his serve. So prediction is I would pick Kyrgios to win in four sets. But then again, 
as i mentioned lot of things can happen right so this is what i feel now somehow i feel that if kirios plays well and jokovic is under pressure or maybe he's not playing well this could turn into a similar match as french open 2015 where wawrinka was just too good on the day and even the jokovic was not playing bad but he was not being that much aggressive he was playing defensive from the baseline that allowed wawrinka to be aggressive from the forehand and the backhand wing and we all know wawrinka has a solid one handed backhand that really helped him out in that match in this match also i think even though the surface is, is different the player is different the situation is different still i think if kirios plays really aggressive and plays well and jokovic is even if a little bit out of sorts then this could well turn into that sort of match let's hope jokovic plays well starts off well and we could you know see a four setter or five setter and who knows who will win so tell me guys what do you feel uh, about this match and who has a better chance and thanks for watching